So as I continued down the ro Champion Road there, I came across this, and I was hoping to find a porta john <laughs> But I didn't want to see what was going on down here, and I uh, figured it, always on a construction site, there's always a porta john I don't know what Liberty's up to here. You can see him moving around down there. So I, that's, I, I would imagine this thing's open. I'm going to avail myself of it. But uh, there goes a the truck. There's a road over here. So if I wanted to get off of the trail, you could right here. But uh, who knows what this is going to be. I'll tell you what, Liberty is continuously expanding. I think it will be one of the largest or the largest university in the country of the United States. Eventually, uh, of course, you know, we got some tough times ahead. We'll see what happens. Boy, you should see the heavy machinery off in the distance. I thought I'd hike up here and just see what all this is. I don't know. No clue. I assume they're using it for something. Or maybe they tore something down. I don't know, because it does look kind of used, doesn't it? Look at all the, the rust on that. Boy, I tell you what, a scrapper. <laughs> They'd be going crazy with all this metal. I bet you could get a, quite a chunk of change for this metal. Although this wood over here looks uh, looks new. So maybe they're going to reuse these supplies for something. I don't know. Look at, look at that, huh? Wow. A Bobcat generator. Boy, you could use that. It looks like it's been uh, damaged a little bit there. And there's a cement mixer. But anyway, I just wanted to get this on the video. I'm sure I'm not supposed to be here. Do you know me? <laughs> All right, I'll try to get back on the trail now, but uh, I don't even know what road this is over here. Who knows? But I'm going to finish off this champion uh, champion road, and then i got to get back to the car because I'm picking up a toilet from my mom's house today, and uh, they're going to install it tomorrow. So uh, I'm looking forward to having a new toilet, I'll tell you that. That 50-year-old toilet she's got with the, a hole about the size of my finger, you know, I've hated that thing my whole life. All right. You know, on my way out, I'm gonna try to take that road, if I can figure out what road it is, just to see what's going on. Look at the heavy machinery coming down. Look at the size of that dump truck right there. I'm just real curious about what's going on over there. I'm not gonna hike all the way over there to find out, because uh, I am on a construction site, obviously. So let's get back on Champion Road, but uh, I've seen cars go by, so you can drive down that road and then uh, maybe I can get a video of what's going on. Just curious. So you see what I mean? <laughs> so this is private property. So I'm thinking, well, what happened to Champion Road? I guess it just came to an end. So now I guess I'm going to do Raccoon Alley. I have no idea where I'm at. So we're just going back up. We're leaving that construction site and... Uh, I don't know, i got to hike at least 0.7 miles down this, and uh, I don't know. I mean, I, hopefully I'll see somebody, and uh, all i got to do is get back. See, now here, look, there's a trail going off to the left. That is, uh, that's another trail. Let's see what that says. That's uh, the Great Escape. Who knows? Uh, so i got to, got another mile to hike, and I... Uh, you know, of course, there's nobody back here to ask, uh, but uh, I assume these trails got to come out somewhere. Uh, you know, I know the two facilities, you've got the ski facility and you've got the uh, the lake. If I can get to either one of those, then I know how to get out of here. But uh, right now, I'm just completely lost. Completely lost. And uh, now that I've done Champion Road, I guess we're going to do Raccoon Alley. Looks like just a 0.7 mile hike, and who knows where this is going to end up. I might be here till dark. So, just wanted to get a video of uh, Raccoon Alley. It's, uh, it's a lot more uh, like you're in the forest type of trail, you know, than that uh, Champion Road or whatever it was, Champion something or other. And uh, you can see a little bit of water, a creek running alongside. Nice little bridge right here. I tell you, Liberty really maintains these trails. Uh, hey, man, I, I forgot. Uh, you know, the more big tech tightens their grip, the more star systems will slip through their fingers. You guys got to check it out on Rumble. It's the number one uh, video 
that uh, new Let's Go Brandon uh, song that's uh, hit the charts uh, in the hip hop world. Uh, I watched it on Rumble. It's not, they banned it on YouTube, you know, that, that figures. Uh, like I said, Big Tech, you keep, Big Tech, you keep tightening your grip and the more star systems are gonna slip through your fingers. Rumble, go to Rumble, people. Go to Rumble. Hey, and by the way, I want, forgot to tell you, I've been, um, my upload speeds, I think this is the trail. Yeah, okay, there's a sign right here. Because it, look, it looks like you go that way or that way. I'm gonna just continue up this. Uh, so, uh, anyway, uh, I got my upload speed at my mom's house with Comcast is a hell of a lot better than CenturyLink back home. So I'm getting pretty much all of my videos that I consider important up on Rumble. So I, I'm going to tell you from now on, now look for me on Rumble, you know, because YouTube's got me so buried, you just can't, you can't even find me. You search on that cybersecurity guy, you won't even find one of my videos on YouTube. But if you search on Rumble for that cybersecurity guy, you have to type the whole thing out to find me, but uh, you'll find my videos there. All right, let's get going. Boy, going up and down now. Got the heart rate up. That's good. That's good. Now I'm at a dilemma. I just hiked up the mountain, and that's why they got a bench there. So that you can rest. Thank God. But I'm crossing Raptor Run, and it seems to me to get back that I would want to go this way, down Raptor Run. I don't know. I mean, it seems to me, right? I gotta, well, I guess I'll worry I'm gonna soft through the sun. So that would be west. So I would think that should be, well, the thing is I didn't shoot a vector before I started. <laughs> but I, 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 let's see, I, I don't know. I don't know whether I'm going, I need to go north or south. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna go down Raptor Run here. So we won't finish up. Um, I tell you, that was a hell of a hike up that mountain. Let me sit down on this bench and rest. So I'm on Raptor Run, and this is a little orientation 101. So at this point, what I'll do is I'm gonna keep that sun off to my left-hand side, no matter which trail I get on. And that'll mean at least I'm going in one direction and not going around in circles. And eventually I'll hike out of this, uh, hike off of the mountain into something. You know, once you get to a main road, you can always uh, get back to the car somehow, figure out where you are. And uh, so that's what I'm, my plan is at this point. Just keep the sun to my left and keep going. As you can see, I'm going back up the mountain again. I dare say I'm on the top of the mountain. Raptor run was straight up. So I thought I'd just get this moment. What a place to camp huh? on top of the mountain. Looks like somebody made a fire pit right here. Back in the day when I could hike, if you could get a backpack up here. I did hike up a flat top mountain and camp on the top of that mountain one night. But uh, I think I'm on the top of the mountain. Holy moly. Well, I guess I'm going back down the other side. Good news is the sun is still off to my left. And going down is a hell of a lot easier than going up. Oh man, I ain't gonna be hiking tomorrow, I can tell you that. I'm gonna be sore, I'm not used to this up and down. More or less going across the top of the damn mountain. Never been up here before. Holy moly. So I keep seeing these along the way, Arctic 5K. I thought at first that would mean 5K to get to the, the snow place where I can get back to my car. But they just keep saying Arctic 5K. <laughs> so I don't know what that means. Uh, I, uh, I, was, I thought it for sure meant, meant 5k to get back, which would have been okay. Uh, luckily this Raptor run, is uh, now that I'm down off the top of the mountain, it's flattened out a little bit and I can make some progress now. Boy, I, was, I, I bet you if you clock me, he'd say, oh my God, he's only moving at 0 .1, 0 .01 miles per hour up the, up the side of the mountain. He's never gonna get out. All right, but uh, now I'm moving about one mile an hour. That's pretty good. We'll get there eventually. Sun's still off to my left. See, I'm still on Raptor Run. I'm glad they got these signs. But here's another trail that you could do. This is called Dirty Ridge. <laughs> 
See what I mean? You could hike around up here forever, man. Looks like a, another fire pit over here. Yeah, it looks like it. Somebody might have camped right there. So look at there, Dirty Ridge. College students probably come up here. Uh, there's another Arctic 5K sign. Who knows? But I'm not doing I'm staying on Raptor Run with that sun off to my left-hand side. But I just wanted to show you how many trails are back here. It's incredible. You could you could hike around back here forever, I think. Holy moly. But uh, well, we've done well three trails today. I didn't finish up the that one back there. I'll have to look at the video to see what it was called. I'm so tired now, I my memory's gone. Woo! Oh, oh man, now I'm at a dilemma. If I go that way, I think I'm circle back sake. And Raptor Run is going this way. But then you got this trail right here, whatever this is. I don't even see a sign that tells me what that is. Or you could go down this way. I don't know. That's uh, well, we know we're not going that way. We could take Raptor Run, but that seems it's going more back this way. This trail looks pretty good. Let's take this one. I don't even know what it is. Daggone it. I wish they had a sign or something. But it is keeping the sun to my left hand side. So, uh, we'll see where it goes. Yay! <laughs> All right. Woo! I know where I'm at now. Falwell Road. Finally. Now the question is, do you go right or left? Pretty sure I go this way. That'll keep that sun off to my left. And if I remember correctly, this is going to bring me right up to the, uh, the snow facility that I've been telling you about. And we'll get a video there, but uh, I'm pretty sure Falwell Road takes me right up there. But uh, we'll see. But uh, like I said, the sun's off to my left, so uh, should be going the right direction here. That was a welcome sight right there, Falwell Road. Jerry Falwell, if you're up there, thank you. Thank you for Falwell Road. So with the wind at my back, I'm hoping you can hear this. I didn't bring the windscreen. This is the facility I was talking about. I made it out. I know you can't hear a thing. I'm going to holler as hard as I can over the wind. It is really blowing. But we'll get another video when I get up here and show you what the ski facility looks like. Woohoo! I'm glad that hike is done. Now I just got to hike down the mountain to get to my car. And I'm done for the day. That was one hell of a hike. Well, how many times do I say it? The hike you get is not the hike you expect. So this is the baby run here at the uh, Liberty Mountain Ski Facility. So uh, this is pretty cool. There used to be a chess set around here somewhere. I'm going to get that on the video if I can find it. We'll hang out here now that I, I know the sun ain't going to sit on me when I'm lost in the woods. We'll try to look at some of this. I'll get some more video here in a minute. For the uh, Liberty University students. And of course the public I think is welcome here. Who knows where that road goes. Maybe hike that next time. But I thought let's uh, let's just get it on the video. Man, a hell of a facility for uh, college students, huh? <laughs> How many universities have year-round snow skiing? There was a snowboard back there. So somebody might have been using it today. I don't know. It says lift closed over here. But you can see all the obstacles. Yeah, as a young person, well, you could have some fun in there, you know? I don't know what this is. That looks like a jump of some kind. That'd be a hell of a jump, wouldn't it? I guess maybe, maybe they put this up, uh, inflate it, you know, so you can go up that and drop right on it. Here's somebody over here. I guess he's working. I don't know. All right, let's get on back to the car. If I find that chest set, I'll get that on the video. You know, while I'm up here, I thought I'd show you Liberty University. Look at that. That's all the university. There's a football stadium or baseball, football. The university goes all the way over here. Look at that. Massive. I think that's part of the university back there. Unbelievable. All right, let's keep going. So if you are ever here, 
and do what I did. You could park up here. That's what I was saying. Or you could take this trail. It's called the Trail Trail to Snowflakes. So this is uh, this will take me right back to my car. And uh, like I said, I like hiking up this hill when I'm not so tired, but going down it'll be a lot better <laughs> at this point. So I just figured uh, I'd show you that real quick and do the mantra. Freedom, oh freedom. Good to be from the free Republican state of Florida where we have no jabs, no jabs. And we're free, no masks. No masks, you fachi idiot. And we're free in Florida to come and do as we please. So stay in your Democrat states, enjoy your lockdowns, enjoy your masks, and enjoy your jam. <laughs>